After a year off due to COVID and tsunami advisory delays on day one, the 2022 Channel Islands Surfboards Rincon Classic is a wrap. Here's a look at some of the day's fun. When the Beach Boys mentioned Ventura County Line in their hit Surf in USA, they might as well have been talking about the Rincon on a day like this. The 40th incarnation of the Rincon Classic didn't have to wait weeks for some chest high sets. They got them this weekend. At the Rincon Classic and just so fired up. The waves are super fun and really good community event. So you go out there, you shred, you do your trip and uh, you're stoked. Surfers had plenty of speed, power and flow. Judges looked for. Fans sat back and enjoyed the show that included amateurs and pros. Oh, it's so cool to see everyone from the community out here and just get a watch all my friends and everyone that I see out in the lineup competing all together. Even a paraglider took it all in. For me, I just like to come out and hang out with people and yeah, have fun. During low tide, surf photographers use their big lenses to frame the action. Some long and short boarders aren't regulars at competitions, but they welcome the Rincon Classic that will leave the winners with bragging rights until next year. And congrats go out to all the winners, including our own surf forecaster, Sean Quinn, who came in fifth in the Legends final today. He is not a bragger, so we're going to brag for him. Way to go, Sean. And if anyone has video of Sean, please send it our way so we can... Just razz Sean a little well, thank bit. Thank you, and thank you to Glenn uh, Dubach for sending that picture. He, uh, he uh, does an outstanding job of uh, photographing lots of stuff around the region, including the Rincon Classic.